Hello students, how are you all? Hope you are doing great. So this is the second part of the concept time and work. So still, if you have not seen my previous video, you can find the link of those video in the description box. And if you are liking my videos, if you are finding it useful, please do like, share and comment below the video. So let us begin our today's lesson. So we have seen type one and type two problems. So what we will do, we will quickly revise the second type because this is very important concept. So what we have seen, it's a concept of man day. So if hundred workers can finish a task in 50 days, then obvious one worker will finish the task in 5000 days okay agar 100 workers ko 50 days lag rahe, so one worker ko kitne days lagenge 5000 so what we have seen man into day okay so that will give you a total days required so man day is nothing but time required to finish the task by one person so let us see the numerical on this. So this numerical we have already seen. So we'll quickly finish it. So let 100 workers can finish a task in 50 days. Then how many days are required to finish the task by 25 workers? So what we have seen. So M1 D1 is equal to M2 D2. So what is M1 here? M1 is 100 then what is D1 here it is 50 is equal to M2 that is 25 and D2 that we have to find out so simply you can use this and you can get D2 okay so your answer will be 200 days okay it's a very simple concept what we have done here man into day so 100 into 50 is equal to 5000 but only 25 workers are available okay what is asked what has been asked how many days are required to finish the task by 25 so only 25 workers are available so 25 into day is equal to what 5000 so we can calculate number of days required for 25 workers now let us see the case number two now this is important So the hundred workers so hundred workers can finish a task in 50 days. Hundred workers started started completing the task by working for 10 days. Now to finish a task as soon as possible. 100 more workers are employed okay so initially there was 100 workers and after that more 100 workers were employed so total number of workers will be 200 now calculate the number of days required to complete the task okay so simply it's a man day concept calculate first man day so initially how many workers were there 100 how many days were required to finish the task 50 so what is man day it is 5000 okay now initially 100 workers worked only for 10 days so what will be man day for 100 workers and 10 days it will be 1000 100 into 10 it will be 1000 okay now see if 100 workers work for 50 days what is man day it is 5000 but it is given that initially 100 workers works only for 10 days so it will be what thousand that means what will be remaining thing it is 5000 minus 1000 so it will be what 4000 so 4000 man day is still pending which has to be finished by 200 workers now why 200 workers See, 
what is given in the problem that initially there was only 100 workers okay now to finish that work in less time more 100 workers were added more 100 workers were added so what will be total number of workers here 200 so 200 into days it is equal to what 4000 this is remaining okay so you can calculate days 4000 divided by 200 is equal to 20 days okay so initially 100 workers work for 10 days so 10 plus when more 100 workers were employed where what are the total number of days required 20 so what will be total number of days required to complete the task 10 for 10 days only 100 workers worked and for next 20 days 200 workers work to complete the given task so what will be total number of days required initially 10 plus next 20 which is equal to 30 so hope now you have understood this case number 2 so this is very important it's simply based on mandate concept but you have to find out what is the remaining work and if more employees are employed more workers are employed then you have to calculate the number of days so initially 10 plus 20 it will be what 30 days okay so hope now you have understood this case now let us see a case number three now if three men if three men or four women can reap a field in 43 days how long will seven men and five women take to reap it so this is also important concept okay you will find such type of question in your previous competitive exams now see here if three men or four women what is given three men or four women so can we say three men is equal to four women okay now what is the problem see problem mein kya diya hai wo samjhe if three men or four women yani ek to teen aadmi ya fir teen aurat three men or four women can reap a field now reaping means what let's say removing all all the grass okay in how many days 43 days so can we say three men is equal to four women ek to teen men kaam pe lagayenge ya fir four women so three men is equal to four women so what will be one man is equal to four by three women okay now what is asked seven men and five women if they are employed to clean all the grass how many days they will require okay let us understand first more the number of workers are there if more the number of worker car workers are there can we say to finish the given task they will take lesser days so one thing is sure that whatever answer will come it should be less than 43 days why because we are employing more number of workers see instead of only three men or instead of only four women what we have done now we are employing seven men and five women that means total 12 workers so definitely it is obvious that they will take less number of days to complete the given task okay so one man is what four by three women now what will be seven men so seven into one so seven into four by three it will be 28 by three women okay so what we are doing actually instead of going to calculate separately that how many days will man will take and how many days will woman will take what we are doing we are converting a complete employee either into men or into woman so that calculation will be easy so what we have done we have converted complete workers into woman 
ओके सो सेवन मैन प्लस फाइव वुमन नौ सेवन मन सेवन मैन मीन्स ट्वेंटी एट बाय थ्री वुमन सो ट्वेंटी एट बाय थ्री प्लस फाइव वुमन सो फाइव इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट फोर्टी थ्री बाय थ्री वुमेन दैट मीन्स सेवन मैन एंड फाइव वुमन इट इज इक्विवेलेंट टू फोर्टी थ्री बाय थ्री वुमेन ओके नौ वट इज गिवन दैट थ्री मैन और फोर वुमन सो कैन वी सेव can we consider four women four women is completing the task in 43 days so 43 by 3 women will require how many days so again m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 m1 is 4 into d1 is how much 43 which is equal to m2 43 by 3 into d2 we have to calculate so d2 is equal to what 12 days see what we have discussed if more the number of workers are employed they will take less number of days how how much answer we are getting it is 12 days hame kitna answer mil raha hai 12 days obviously 12 is less than 43 days okay so our answer is what correct so what we have done here we have converted men plus women into equivalent number of women okay this problem can be solved by converting given number of men given number of men and women into equivalent number of men okay you can try this so in that case what will what will be your answer see 3 men if it is equal to 4 women so we can say one woman is equal to 3 by 4 men okay so likewise you have to proceed so here what i have done i have converted men plus women into equivalent number of women and i have solved the problem okay but one thing you have to take down here if more the number of workers lesser should be number of days if by mistake if you are getting here answer more than 43 days then you are going somewhere wrong okay so hope you have understood case 1 case 2 and case 3 these are very important especially case number 2 and case number 3 okay now let us move to the type 3 problem now these are also very important and it's a concept based question okay so please pay attention case is when a and b works on alternate days okay see in type number 1 what we have seen we have seen that what is one day work and what is the number of days if they are working together case number 2 we have seen man day concept now type 3 is if there are two workers and if they are working on alternate days that means on first day let's say person a is working on second day let person b is working again on third day a will work on fourth day b will work So likewise, if they are working on alternate days, how many number of days they will require to complete the given task? So this is type three. Now in type three, obviously there will be two cases. Who is starting the work? Whether A is working on first day or B is working on second day. So there will be two cases here. Okay. So hope you are getting. See. टाइप थ्री क्या है कि ए एंड बी दे आर वर्किंग ऑन अल्टरनेट डेज दैट मीन्स ऑन फर्स्ट डे पहले दिन ए वर्क कर रहा है दूसरे दिन बी वर्क कर रहा है तीसरे दिन अगेन ए वर्क कर रहा है चौथे दिन बी वर्क कर रहा है लाइक वाइज दे आर वर्किंग ऑन अल्टरनेट डेज अभी दो केसेस ऐसी है कि फर्स्ट डे पे कौन काम कर रहा है वेदर ए इज वर्किंग और बी इज वर्किंग सो लेट एस सी दिस केस लेट ए कैन फिनिश अ टास्क इन एट डेज okay this statement we are familiar then b can finish a task same task in 10 days okay this is also understandable how many days are required to finish the task if both are working in alternate days so if they are working on alternate days how many days they will take so let us see how to solve such type of problem now a can finish a task in 8 days so we can find a is one day work it will be 1 by 8 part okay this thing we have already seen now 
B can finish a task in 10 days. So what will be B's one day work? It will be one by 10. Okay, this is similar to previous thing. So if A can finish a task in eight days, it's one day work will be one by eight. If B can finish a same task in 10 days, then it's one, one day work will be one by 10. Now, if both are working on alternate days, starting from A, okay, it is given they are starting from A. That means on first day, A is working. That is given. So can we find out two days work? Deco, Peledin Kon Kam Kara A. What is one day work of A? One by eight. Second day, Kon Kam Kara hai B. What is one day of one day work of B? One by ten. So what will be two days work? One by eight plus one by ten. Okay, this is first day work. One by eight. A is working. Plus on second day, B is working. So one by ten. So what will be two days work? It will be 18 by 80. Okay, if you cross multiply 10 plus 8 divided by 10 into 8. So 18 by 80. So this is what two day work. Abhi third day, kon kaam karega? A. Fourth day, kon kaam karega? B. So can we calculate four day work? Deko, two days me kitna kaam kar hai? 18 by 80. So four day me kitna kaam karega? 36 by 80. Six day kitna complete karega 18 into 3, so 54 by 80. So eight day me kitna kam karega 72 by 80. So if they work for eight days, they can finish 72 by 80 part of work. See when we will say that A and B, we will say that A and B while working on alternate days, they have finished the task. When this, when this fraction, when it will turn into one, that means numerator should be 80, denominator is 80. So 80 by 80, when you will get it at that day, you will say that A and B, they have finished the task. Now we have found out for working for eight days, they have finished 72 by 80 part of work. So what is the remaining work? Numerator pe kitna chahiye? 80. So 80 minus 72. Kitna aega? 8. So kitna remaining hai? 8 by 80. Deko, agar 72 by 80 me, agar hum 8 by 80 add karte, to me kitna milega? 80 by 80, that means 1. That means they have finished the work. So what is remaining work now? 8 by 80. So still 8 by 80 part of work is remaining. So can we say 8 by 80 is equal to what? 1 by 10 that means 1 tenth part is still remaining that means this meaning kya hai ki a and b agar if they are working for 8 days then they still 1 by 10th part is remaining abhi 8 8 day pe kon kaam kiya hai b ne kaam kiya hai dekho first day a second day b third day a fourth day b fifth a, 6th B, 7th A, 8th B. So who will work on 9th day? On 9th day, A will work. So on 9th day, to finish, how many part is remaining? 1 by 10. So to on 9th day, to finish 1 by 10th work, how many days he will take? See, how much time he will take, we can say. See, what is one day work of A? 1 by 8. That means to complete one eight part of work, if A is taking one day, so to complete one tenth part of work, how much time he will take? If you do the cross multiplication, you will get 1 by 10 divided by 1 by 8. So it will be 4 by 5 days. Deco. Is me kya jada hai? 1 by 8 is greater or 1 by 10 is greater? Which one is more? 1 by 8. That means, ek din me wo 1 8 part complete kar raha hai. Obviously, to complete 1 tenth part, it will take less time. Agar ek day me 24 hours se. So, it will take less than 24 hours to complete 1 tenth. Because, see, अगर काम कम हो रहा है 
ऑब्वियसली टाइम भी क्या होगा कम होगा ओके सिंपल है सिंपली यू टू गो फॉर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन इफ वन टू कंप्लीट वन एट पार्ट वन बाय एट पार्ट कंप्लीट करने को ए को कितना दिन लग रहा है ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स लग रहे सो वन टेंथ पार्ट कंप्लीट करने के लिए कितने आवर्स लगेंगे लेस देन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सो इफ यू डू दी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन यू विल गेट फोर बाय फाइव डेज ओके सो दिस इज ऑन नाइन डे दैट मीन्स ऑन नाइन डे दे आर टेकिंग फोर बाय फाइव आवर्स In simple language, they are taking four by fifth time, four by fifth of one day. Okay, so till now, how much days they have worked? Eight days, and on ninth they will take four by fifth of twenty-four hours. So together they can finish a task in eight four by five days. Okay, so hope you have understood. See. From the given problem, we will go back to the given problem and we will understand it. Okay. So what is given? A can finish a task in one eight days. So find A is one day work. It is one by eight. B can finish a same task in ten days. So find B is one day work. It is one by ten. Okay. Now if they are working on alternate days, how much days they will take to finish the task? So first, find how much work they will complete in two days. Okay, so that we have found out that is eighteen by eighty. अभी देखो, when see ये समझने वाली बात है कि हम कब कहेंगे कि they have finished the task when this fraction when it becomes one. So numerator क्या है eighteen, denominator क्या है eighty. इसको one कब बनेगा ये fraction? when it will be 80 by 80 when numerator is equal to denominator so if they work for 8 days how much they will finish 72 by 80 ab ye kaise aaya 72 by 80 dekho pehle do din mein kitna work finish kiya hai 18 by 80 now in next two days again they will finish 18 by 80 so 18 by 80 plus 18 by 80 Okay, it will be what thirty six by eighty. Again on six day fifty four by eighty. On eight day seventy two by eighty. And eighteen eighteen हम क्या कर रहे हैं add कर रहे हैं. Okay, so find out remaining work on nine day. Who will work? A will work. Why A will work? Because it is given in the problem that they are starting on first day. Who is working? A is working. Okay, so this is how you have to find out. Okay, so this is how you have to find out the given thing. Now let us understand case number two. Case number one, kya tha? If they are starting with A. Now case number two, kya? Hai? Let's say work is started by B. That means on first day B is working. On first day B is working. On second day A is working. On third day B will work. On fourth A will work likewise. Again, the problem statement is same. That if A can finish a task in eight days, B can finish a same task in ten days. How many days are required to finish the task if both are working on alternate days? अब इस रिप चेंज क्या है कि फर्स्ट डे पे कौन काम कर रहा है उतना सिर्फ चेंज दिया हुआ है. So if A can finish a task in eight days, what will be A's one day work? It will be one by eight. If B can finish a task in ten days, then B's one day work will be one by ten. Okay. Now, again, if they are working on alternate days starting from B, again, हमें क्या find out करना है? Find in two days how much part they will finish. So one by eight plus one by ten, it will be again eighteen by eighty. So if they work for eight days, they will finish seventy two by eighty part of work. Okay. So how much is remaining part? It is eight by eighty. That is equal to one by ten. Okay, now on ninth day, instead of A, who will work? B will work. Okay, and what is B's one day work? It is one by ten only. Okay, what is remaining work? One by ten. So B will take complete one day. B will take complete one day to finish the task. 
by why because b's b's one day work is what one by ten b ka one day work kya hai one by ten and to finish one by ten obviously it will take one day so initially first they have work for eight days and on ninth day that means plus one so total days will be how much it will be nine days okay so to finish the task they will take nine days okay so hope you have understood this problem so there are two cases that who is starting the work okay so see in both the cases even same persons are working but who is starting the work and what is the efficiency of that person that is important okay so hope you have understood both the cases see simply you have to calculate what is two days work what is the remaining work and who is working on next day who is working on nine day whether a is working or b is working so based on that you have to find out total number of days required to finish the task okay so this was the type number three now let us see the concept of negative work this is the type number four now what is negative work let us understand from the example if a can build a wall in eight days it's a constructive work it's a positive work and b can build it in 12 days so they are building it okay they are not destroying they are building it so a and b can we say they are doing a positive work because they are not destroying anything they are constructing while c can completely destroy it in 24 days okay c can completely destroy it in 24 days now c is destroying the wall so can we say he is doing negative work yes so that is what the concept of negative work so if they start working at the same time in how many days the work will be completed c a and b they are building the wall c he is destroying the wall okay so what will be net combined work per day so a's work plus b's work plus c's work a and b they are constructing and c is destroying that means a and b they are doing positive work c is doing negative work as c is doing negative work we have to subtract it so what is a's one day work if he is taking eight days so one day work will be one by eight what is b's work now if b can build it in 12 days so one day work will be one by 12 c c can completely destroy it in 24 days that means in one day it can destroy one by 24th part so one by 24 it has to be minus it has to be subtracted why because he is destroying he is doing the negative work so let's say what you, if you solve this so how much you will get you will get 4 by 24 okay so 8 into 3 24 12 into 2 it will be 24 and this will be 24 so 4 by 24 which is equal to 1 by 6 that means in one day they can complete 1 by 6 part okay so 1 by 6 on first day on second day it will be 1 by 6 third day 1 by 6 so likewise they have to work for 6 days okay 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus so one you have to add 1 by 6 for 6 times so that you will get 6 by 6 so it will be 1 when you are getting 1 that means you are completing the work okay so what is a b c one day work one by six so work will be completed in six days okay you have to take the reciprocal of it okay so it will be six days so this is a concept of negative work that means whether they are doing positive or whether they are doing negative work whether they are building the world or whether they are destroying the world okay so let us see now variety of problem based on negative work 
now this is very interesting and also the important a tortoise a tortoise can climb up to 5 meter in first hour there is one tortoise kachua it can climb up to what 5 meter now next hour it climbs down to 4 meter that means first hour mein 5 meter aage bad hai. okay and on next hour it is again coming down by 4 meter it is trying to reach a platform of 15 meter usko kitna platform cover karna hai of 15 meter find the number of hours required to the tortoise to climb the platform okay now see here okay have you understood the problem statement okay see a platform hai uski height kitni hai 15 meter tortoise ko 15 meter cover karna hai पहले अवर में कितना चढ़ पा रहा है वो 5 मीटर लेकिन नेक्स्ट अवर में वो वापस नीचे आ रहा है बाय 5 मीटर दैट मींस अगर हम 2 आवर्स की बात करें तो वो कितना डिस्टेंस कवर कर रहा है ओनली 1 मीटर हैव यू अंडरस्टूड सी देयर इज वन प्लेटफार्म ऑफ 15 मीटर लेट अस इमेजिन अ प्लेटफार्म ऑफ 15 मीटर सी I will show let's say there is one platform of 15 meter okay this is what of 15 meter okay now in first hour let's say it is climbing up to this up to 5 meter in first hour like in next hour that means second hour may wo kitna niche hai by, by 4 meter that means effective climbing kitna hai uska only 1 meter okay so this is the logic we have to use okay let us see it is very clear that tortoise can climb up to 5 meter per hour effective climbing in the last hour will be 5 meter so remaining time in which tortoise will climb can be calculated by simple logic see the logic now here whatever we have seen i have written here so first hour climb is 5 meter next hour climb down by 4 meter so what will be effective work in two hour it will be one meter that means if one meter climbing requires two hours and a eight meter jane ke liye do hours lag rahe hai so 10 meter jane ke liye kitne hours lagenge 20 hours is it right is it right see eight meter chadne ke liye kitne hour lag rahe do over so 10 meter jane ke liye kitna lagega 20 hours abhi total platform kitna cover karna hai 15 meters so after this 20 hour next hour that means in 24 in 21st hour he will climb again by 5 meter so 10 meter plus 5 meter it will be 15 meter that means that is what the required length of the platform is given to you have you understood this see what is effective work in two hour it is one meter that means eight meter chadne ke liye usko do hour lag rahe so 10 meter chadne ke liye kitne hour lagenge 20 10 into 20 that is this is i think this up to this is clear okay tumhari ladder kitne ki hai it is 15 it is of what 15 meter abhi 20 hours mein kitna chad pa raha hai wo 10 meters kitna remaining hai 5 ye 10 meter jane ke liye usko kitna time lag raha hai see 10 meter jane ke liye kitna time lag raha hai usko 10 meter jane ke liye kitna time lag raha hai it is taking 20 hours yahan tak pahunchne ke liye usko 20 hours usne spend kiye abhi jo 21st hour jo rahega 21st and a 20 plus 1 21st hour mein wo kitna chad lega 5 meter why 5 meter because tortoise can climb 5 meter in 1 hour okay so 10 plus next hour he will climb by 5 so 10 plus 5 15 meter that is the length of the platform and how much time he will take it will take 21 hour 
So total time required by tortoise to climb up to 15 meter is what? 20 plus 1, which is equal to 21 hour. Okay. Now why this problem is included in negative work? Because in first hour it is climbing. So we can say yes, it is climbing the ladder or climbing the platform. That means we can consider that as positive work. Now in next hour, again it is coming down. As it is coming down, it is considered as a negative work. So negative work, always you have to subtract from positive. Okay, this point you have to remember. Okay, so if such type of problem comes, find out effective work and then you can proceed to find the total time required for the given thing. Okay, now we will see one more problem of this. So that it will be clear to you. So in the problem it is given a snail is trying to reach at top level of the wooden stick which is 95 centimeter long. Now what is the length 95 centimeter. Now snail can climb up to 5 centimeter in first hour but climb down by 3 centimeter in next hour. Find the time required by the snail to reach the top of the wooden stick. Okay. See, again you have to approach with the same concept. 5 centimeter climbing in first hour. In first hour it is climbing by 5 centimeter. Now in the next hour it is coming down by 3 centimeter. It is coming down by three centimeter so what will be effective work effective work will be five minus three it will be two centimeter in two hour okay first hour may five centimeter climb kar rahe. like in second hour may it is coming down by three centimeters so what will be effective work effective work will be two hours so can we say 90 centimeter can be climbed in 90 hours is it right? If 2 cm climb karne ke liye 2 hours lag rahe, to 90 cm climb karne ke liye obviously 90 hours lagenge. Okay, it will take 90 hours. Now ladder or that platform, wooden platform, what is the length? It is 95 cm. It is what? 95 cm. Now 90 hours, in 90 hours, 90 hours me kitna climb kar rahe wo? 90 kitna climb kar rahe? 90 kitna remaining hai? kitna remaining hai? 5 okay now see 90 centimeter aane ke liye usko usne kitna time liya hai? 90 hours liye abhi jo 91st hour rahega 91st hour jo rahega, can it will be climb by 5 cm why because in one hour it can climb by 5 cm so obviously what will be total time required by this snail so for first 90 cm it will take 90 hours and next hour plus 1 it will climb by 5 cm so 90 plus 5 it will be 95 cm and what will be time required 90 hours plus one hour it will be 91 hour so this will be your answer okay so hope you have understood this concept concept of positive and negative work so in this video we have gone through all the three types which are all important type number two okay that is man day concept then type number three, what was the type number three? If the workers are working on alternate days, and uh, this is the type number four, that is the concept of negative work. So I am ending this video here. Hope you have understood all the three concepts. So today's video was very important. You will find such type of pro problems, such type of questions. If you are solving any previous year papers, question papers of any competitive exam. So this is the most important video. 
please do like and subscribe my youtube channel if still if you have not subscribed and you can hit the notification bell so that whenever i am uploading the video you will get the notification of it so thank you still one more part is remaining that i will cover in the next video and we will end up with time and work so thank you thank you very much